Rosalyn from lynnsire.com and here I have another Photoshop tutorial for you guys. It's a really simple picture that I took in my bedroom and you can do it too. And all I do, I sit on my bed, I set it up on a timer and then I go into Photoshop or PicMonkey and I edit the picture. So it's really simple, anyone can do. It's really basic and it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes even less time than that. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix the skin, how to remove under eye, how to add lashes and you effects and textures so let's get started okay guys so here we have Photoshop open and as you can see on the left side I have the original picture and on the right side I have the finished photo really pretty um, as you can see all the colors were changed the background I added blur and a little bit of orb so let's get started so for this tutorial I'm gonna be using this image from the same day I took the other pictures okay so we're gonna make it bigger and first we're gonna start fixing the skin as you can see I have a little bit of acne going on here so to fix that we're gonna be duplicating the layer so either you drag this layer to the bottom as you can see to the notepad or you can use the shortcut if you have Windows, you can use Control J or Command J if you have an Apple. So I'm going to use Control J as a shortcut. And we're going to go to the Healing Brush tool, which the shortcut is J. So I'm going to be pressing J on my keyboard. And we're going to make the little brush bigger by using the brackets key. You can make it smaller using the left bracket or bigger using the right bracket so I'm gonna make it bigger and start fixing the skin so what you want to do is click on alt to sample a skin that is perfect so press alt and then press on the skin that you want to fix and you're gonna continue doing that until you like the end result so I'm gonna be starting from the forehead, I usually go from the chin up. And you can make the screen smaller if you press Control plus or Control minus. So let's start here. I'll make it a little bit bigger and work my way on the chin as you can see here and so far my skin is looking great and to move around the picture all you do is press the keyboard and at the same time move the mouse and that will move your picture and i don't know why it makes that noise but here we go a little bit on the eye And so far, there we go. Okay, so that's good enough. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be blurring the skin either way. So now, um, one more time, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So Control J. And this time, I'm going to work on the under eye circle. So... Um, same brush the healing brush all you do is make it bigger and again sample a good area of your skin to make that under eye make it go away and same thing on the other side sample it and let go the only problem with this it looks a little bit too fake so what I do on the opacity side I bring it down to around 70% or sometimes even less maybe let's see like a 50 okay a 50 or maybe like a 40 there we go so so far you can see the before and after and now we're gonna do a flattened image and then we're gonna duplicate this layer and now we're going to be blurring the skin so to give it like a soft look so go to filter blur 
and you could either do surface blur or smart blur but I'm gonna be going with surface blur and then here you can play around with all the options here so as you can see that looks really pretty like for a magazine I don't know it looks a little bit too fake and I'm gonna be doing the radius for five and the threshold I'm gonna leave it at 15 so to me that looks pretty good or maybe a little bit less maybe like a 10 that looks really good to me so I'm gonna press OK so now I'm gonna be using a layer mask so here I'm gonna press alt and press that at the same time so basically it took away the effect but we're gonna be using the brush tool which the shortcut is B and I'm gonna make it bigger and basically I'm gonna bring back the blur to my picture so just make sure the color is white and that's gonna bring back the blur as you can see here this is exactly what I want and I'm gonna zoom in but now I'm gonna bring back the detail so I'm going back to the foreground color black and I'm gonna erase the blur from the details on my face so like the lips the nose now I'm gonna do the eyes as you can see here and I'm gonna make it smaller and do the eyebrows so I'm, it's getting rid of the blur in those areas in case you do a mistake just change your color to white and it's gonna make it blurry again and basically that is how you make your skin look pretty okay so pretty much that's all we need right now as far as our skin so now um, let's say you want to add lashes so create a new layer a blank layer as you can see here and go to your brush tool and I already have my eyelash brush I'm gonna add in the description box where you can find the eyelash so having a black color sometimes you can do black sometimes I do brown but black is fine with me so I'm just gonna press that on my skin and I'm gonna use Control T to modify that so I'm gonna just be basically be shaping it to my eye okay so using shift drag the little box and make it smaller so basically you just want to make it to fit your eye so you can also use the arrow keys to make make it go up down to the left or right so to me that looks pretty good so I'm gonna click on the check mark and I can still go to B, the shortcut, the letter B, and move it around. And to me, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to, again, duplicate this layer so that we can use this same brush for the other eye. But this time, go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal to switch it and use this for the other eye and again control T to make it move a little bit so I'm gonna place it there and to me that looks good and use the arrows to make it move up and down okay so so far it looks great so now all I'm gonna do is change the opacity for both so maybe like a 70% to make it look a little bit more realistic and this one too so I just type in 70 and you can see it there so pretty much this is it as far as your skin making it look pretty flawless and bigger eyelashes but if you want to add more to your picture just flatten your image and you're gonna save it somewhere where you can find it really fast so I'm gonna save it to my desktop I'm gonna put pick monkey to find it really fast and press OK so now going to pick monkey what you want to do is drag that image from your desktop and go to pick monkey And here you can add more effects to your picture. So 
we're gonna be going to the effects and what I did for this image is go to Intrepid. Um, again, I have the Royal member, but you can always use the other effects and achieve something similar. I use Intrepid at about 70%. To give it kind of like a blue orangey tone to it and then in the texture area here you have a lot of things that you can play with um, for this image I want to add the bouquet and this is basically what I did for my picture and the cool thing about this is that you can move it around you can switch it so you can move vertical, horizontal, you can flip it, so let's see, I like it, yeah, I like this one, so I'm gonna be, you can also change the size, so if you want bigger bouquet effect or smaller, so I'm gonna leave it at around there, okay, and you also get all these other options from paint, so here you can make the brush bigger brush size so you just bring that up and basically you just want to erase on those areas from your face where you don't want the bouquet to appear so maybe on my shirt my arm um, like about there okay So pretty much here you are done and then you can go ahead and save it and you can name it here and then save it to my computer. I'll pick desktop and save and that's pretty much for this tutorial and you can see here the before and after. So we went from having a skin with problems with acne and then we fixed that in Photoshop and then we added some texture. So and using that same technique, that's how I edited this picture which went to my Facebook and my Instagram. This is another one that I did and this is another one that I did with my little Lynn and I actually used this one for the outro of my blog videos. So really simple as you can see. So basically that's it for this tutorial. I hope I made it easy and fun to follow. So any feedback or questions that you have for me, leave it in the comments section. And I hope you can use this for your social media and impress your friends or maybe help your friends edit their photos or make some money. You never know. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.